What's going on guys? Welcome to this grocery haul video. It's gonna be like some of my older grocery haul videos in terms of, I'm gonna throw some bags, I think. I think it's time to bring back some bag throwing. So, I'm gonna show you all the groceries for this week's meal prep. Uh, for myself, as well as Alex, I'm not gonna do the meal prep in this video, but I'm also probably gonna do a breakfast meal prep in that video. Um, some new recipes. It's gonna be a good meal prep video, so make sure to keep an eye out for it. It'll be out later this week. I'm a little tired, so I'm trying to trick myself by like opening my eyes super wide, like I'm awake. But I'm gonna go get groceries, come back, and then I'm gonna go to Alex's CrossFit competition. So if you don't wanna stick around for that part, that's fine. But yeah, I'm gonna show you groceries, then go to his competition. I didn't even know he had a competition today. He was like, oh yeah, I have a competition today. And I was like, thanks for telling me, bro. He's like, well, I didn't think you'd want to drive that far. It's like 35, 40 minutes away. I said, bro, you're my bro. Of course, I'm going to drive that far to see you compete. I'm not going to stay for the whole thing, though. It's too long. There's too many, like, hours in between each wad. Wad being, like, workout of the day. So I'm not staying for the whole thing. But I will go for one. Take some pictures for him so that he can post them on Instagram. Because, you know, that's what friends do. They take photos of each other so they can post them on the gram. But, yeah. Groceries, and then that. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna have to start charging Alex like a bulking surplus fee for like getting the groceries and then bringing them up three flights of stairs. I'm not trying to be like a baby or complain, but it gets heavy and it's starting to take more than one trip. I'm like, I don't like that. I might have to charge it more. It's a thought. But here are all the groceries. Let's go over them quick and then I gotta get to Alex's CrossFit competition. But starting off with the chicken. So I have about four and a half pounds, about five pounds of chicken breasts here. And then I have two more of them right here. So this one is five pounds, and then this one is about five and a quarter, about five and a half pounds. So there are all the chicken breasts. We are doing, our dinner is gonna be just a broccoli, rice, and chicken. Both Alex and I like enjoy, I know a lot of people don't like to see it prepped because it's just so basic, it's so simple, it's so boring, it's not sexy, I know. But it's one of those meals that's like a staple when it comes to like bulking um, clean or like a lean bulk even, or just like a lean meal. Like chicken, rice, and broccoli, it's a go-to meal. You can add different seasonings, different flavors, different spices to change it up, but like it's a, it's a good staple meal and we like to include it often. So there's the chicken we have. I had to make two trips, one to Fresh Time and one to Kroger. Uh, so from Fresh Time, then I have some Chicago style hot Italian chicken sausages, five of them, and then I have five sweet uh, chicken, sweet Italian chicken sausages, five of those. That costs $15.99 for the chicken sausages. Then I have something new that I've never even made before. I have these wild caught mahi mahi boneless skinless fish. I got two packages of them. There are three servings per pack. I'm gonna make some fish tacos for lunch for me this week. Alex is gonna have a uh, chicken sausage, like Italian sausage, almost like a hot dog, um, with some peppers and stuff. And then I'm gonna do the fish tacos. I didn't really wanna make them for him for lunch, one because um, you know, he doesn't like to like reheat fish at lunch. It like stinks, it doesn't smell good. And then two, I haven't made them before, so I'd like to make them for myself, see how they come out, make tweaks in the future. And um, yeah, so that's what's going on there. I have some almond breeze, almond coconut milk. And then I'm gonna make the breakfast, like I said, the breakfast casserole this week during the prep. But I bought some southern style hash browns instead. I am going to tweak the recipe slightly based on the last time I made it. If you haven't seen the breakfast meal prep video, there's a link in the description. Make sure to check that out. But it was good. But like I said, I did want to tweak it a little bit. So that's what's going on there. We have, whoa, 
We got some orange peppers, some red peppers, and some green peppers. Bell peppers. Those are gonna be for Alex. I have a red onion. This is for the fish tacos. I have a GoPro, which is mine. <laughs> I have about two pounds of broccoli. We got some bananas. We have two avocados for the uh, fish tacos. What else is in here? Ooh, a white onion for the breakfast hash browns. We have some peach mango salsa. So this goes with the fish tacos. There was a recipe to where I could kind of make it myself, but when it comes to prepping, I already know that this prep's gonna take a while. So to speed up the process, I was like, let me just buy some peach mango salsa. It's relatively healthy, only 25 calories, no fat, um, a little bit of sodium, six carb, five sugar, no protein. So pretty healthy. The peach mango salsa will go with the fish tacos. I also got golden sweet corn. I never get corn. Uh, to me, it's, it's not really the best vegetable to go with. It's not the healthiest vegetable. I mean, it's, it's a vegetable, so it's still healthy, but um, I prefer other vegetables. But it's gonna go well with the fish taco meal. So I'm probably gonna do like a fish taco with some corn, rice, and beans maybe. Sounds good. And then I have some peach Greek yogurts. One, two, three. Thought I had like four or five of them. Right now, all I can find is three, but I know I have more somewhere. Those are for like the smoothiest part, and just eat them on their own. Uh, I have this Mexican style blended cheese for the hash browns. So last time I did shredded, uh, extra sharp cheese, but I'm gonna do the Mexican style. I have a big bag of long grain rice, it's like $2.99. And then I have some tortillas, the uncooked ones, a little bit healthier form of tacos. I have 100% liquid egg whites for the breakfast casserole. I didn't really see the point of adding the two eggs. Like I don't really think it added much flavor. So I'm just gonna go all egg whites. And you're like, well, if you want the extra calories, you're bulking, why not do the eggs? Because I think I'm gonna have enough fat through my other like meals and my, and my calories throughout the day that I don't really want um, too much extra fat, right? I'm still trying to be somewhat macro conscious even when I'm bulking. But, I don't want to go crazy with the fat. Then I got this tapatio. Tap I know someone told me how to say it in one of my videos, but I'm, I'm messing it all up. But this little guy, this uh, hot sauce, this stuff is good. I'm gonna use it also for the fish tacos. I have some green onions which I think I'm gonna use for either my tacos or breakfast casserole, I'm not sure yet. Hey, look what we got. Two other yogurts. And then I got some Baja Chipotle. I'm gonna use this to season the fish. Um, I've used it to season chicken in the past. I'll ask Alex if he wants it for his chicken, but um, I know I'm gonna use it for my fish. And again, that recipe that I'm looking at and I'm kinda, I'm changing up, they did have a different way to like season the fish um, with more spices, but I didn't want to buy all those spices. It starts to get expensive when I can just buy this and it's like the entire marinade, right? Versus buying every single spice that you need to marinate it um, the way the recipe called for. So again, maybe a little more cost effective and then quicker. Maybe not the healthiest way though, because if you did the natural seasoning, it might be a little bit better. And then I have some oranges here, which are gonna be for the breakfast prep portion. I have some hot dog buns for Alex's uh, chicken sausages. Then I have some roaster pans. I know it's more expensive. It could be more cost effective. I just might use my own pots and pans. or not pots, but like my pans. But yeah, it's just it's so quick. Such easy cleanup. And I don't always like to spend hours cleaning up once I've spent hours prepping. Let's see. The total for these groceries from Kroger were 108.27. So we got 108.27 and then the chicken sausages were 15.99. That's the total grocery haul for this week, but I gotta put all this away and head to the competition. Let's do that. Thunder, feel the thunder. Lightning and the thunder.
Cincinnati's Q102 Heights Mark. It was so nice coming to work today and going through the Lytle Tunnel. We are so we can see in the dark. What about So here's the deal. I missed his one heat by like 20 minutes because I can't find this place. Somehow I got so turned around that I was back on the highway and I had to like backtrack like 15 minutes. <laughs> and now I'm at a place where there's only like 10 cars but it says it's here. So my phone's messed up, the address is messed up. This place is not very clear as to where it's at, I don't think. I don't know, we'll see if it's here. Just go make an ass of herself and walk into some building and see if it's there. Finally found it. I am out. That was Alex's last competition. He is done. He's just hanging, hanging around and like watch the team go. But it was a pretty fun day. Makes me reminisce of my CrossFit days. I'll have to like talk about that in a video. I need to. Like I used to do CrossFit. I competed. I did pretty well, I thought. But I just stopped. But again, that's that's for another video. I am tired. I think I'm gonna go eat. I got an apple right now. Someone gave me an apple. But it was kind of cool too, they, like, they like let me <laughs> behind the scenes so that I could take a bunch of photos and videos and stuff and I'm probably going to give that to them, um, both the Alex's gym and then also the gym that that was at. So I told them I'll take photos and send it to them and they let me behind the scenes, behind the, behind the caution tape which was pretty sweet. There you go guys. You just buy a fancy ass camera. People kind of let you do what they want when it comes to taking pictures. But now I'm about to embark on this trip home. Like I said, I'm a little tired. Please don't forget to leave feedback about what you thought about this video. Also, keep an eye out for that meal prep video. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for videos like this. And I'm out. Missed it.